Okay, let's go. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I filmed this video. I've had my whole day. This is literally makeup from all day. I had this little friend that peeled. So yeah, I'm just coming home and jewelry's off and I realized I ran out this house. I didn't film no intro or no outro. So I'm just filming it right now really quick. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute and we'll get into that in this video. So I'm not really gonna get into anything too crazy in this intro because I've already been talking for a minute now. Um, but yes, I'm just gonna be getting ready. So it's a get ready with me and also just like a life update, chit chat, just being real with you guys because honestly, you, you're gonna hear me say it in this video. I have been going through a lot and in order for myself to heal, I just have to be real. And so I've just been dealing with that and I want to film and I want to be myself and I want to be real because I'm a real human and I still go through things even though what I post on social media may look super glamorous and super like happy all the time. It's not. Um, by God's grace, life is great <laughs> and I'm so grateful. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what we're going to be getting into. I'm just doing a regular get ready with me. I tell you about my outfit. I tell you about my makeup and we're just talking. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I just want to catch you guys up without giving too much details, but also so you just can know that you act strong all the time and act great all the time. We still go through things. And so I just felt led to share because it could help someone and honestly, if I help one person, that's enough. So yeah, let's just get into this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for supporting and for hanging in there. And we're only going up from here. So no complaints. God is good. And expect a lot more of me, a lot more realness from me. We're real over here. <laughs> so thank you so much. And let's get into this video. Okay, it has been a minute. It's been a minute since I've sat in this chair but you know what we're gonna film um i'm just gonna do a cute little get ready with me live update or whatever because it's been a few months since i posted a video but yeah and a lot has been going on so i thought i would just sit down relax and talk about life um so i just used the milk Hydro Grip Primer, the best. I put that on first so that it can sit for a minute and then I'm gonna glue my brows down and then I'll start my face. And I just tinted my brows and I put a little moisturizer with um, self tanner. So that's why they look a little orange right now, but that's okay. Okay, so as you know, I got to be with a spoolie. This is how I do my brows. A little dollop will do the trick. I just comb them up. And I usually have a Q-tip, but I'm not gonna get up and get one, so I'm just gonna use my finger. And then I take the end of this and just kind of calm that down a little. See what I mean? Brows are laid, and so now we're gonna get into the face, and we're just gonna chit chat while I do this. <sighs> Lord, um, and I'm gonna be using this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. I really like this oil free uh, 20 SPF, which I already put SPF and did my whole skincare, and I just use my hands, and then I'll use a brush to kind of smooth it out. Um, but yeah, life has been crazy, like I said um these past few months have been very crazy um i'm not gonna get like all the way into it with details i'm sorry this is a straw chair so it's so noisy but just to kind of fill you guys in just to be real because honestly that's what i've been realizing i've been realizing a lot of things we just have to be real with each other i have to be real with myself in order for me to heal and for me to be my best self so we have to be real we have to be real with ourselves we have to be real with each other and that's what i'm doing right now um i'm going in with just this maybelline fit me concealer just to conceal my spots and a little under the eyes i don't know what's going on up there um so yeah a lot has been going on these past few months and 
in in my personal life and obviously this is something that i don't like post on my stories and stuff like that i try to be as real and as tra transparent as possible but um now i'm going in contouring with the huda beauty cream contour I really love this stuff i have just been having a rough few months and i'm not gonna like i said get into the details but i just want to be real and it started i mean it's been it's been the past few months just with like finances and finding a job and just a whole series of things and let me go ahead and say i am not looking for a pity party i am not trying to have people feel bad for me that's the last thing i want i literally don't talk about these things because i don't like attention but i know that people need to hear these things in order for them to know they're not alone so yeah i've just been going through a lot with just like finances and finding a job for those who don't know i've been laid off since uh february from my job as an assistant designer and honestly just being real i was getting that unemployment girl and i was just not chilling because i was definitely still working and doing ministry honestly just focusing on ministry that's been like my main focus and so of course i was looking i was keeping my i should say i was keeping my eyes open but not heavily looking for work and then i knew unemployment like the extra was ending but i didn't know that all of it was ending and girl that caught me by surprise at the beginning of september i had no clue um i'm going in with this la pro concealer it's a lot lighter just to highlight the inner corner and also do a little and maybe just a little on the nose because why not and maybe a little on the chin because why not um that has been just obviously a little challenging because i'm trying to honestly i'm content with whatever god wants and i'm not stressed because i know god will provide i've just been trying to hear god's voice or waiting or allowing time to hear god's voice because i don't want to do anything outside of his will i of course have a plan and a goal and what i want but above all i just want what god wants and i don't just say that to be cute because i've done it way too many times on my own and failed and i truly just feel led to switch my career path a little bit it's nothing like i haven't been already been doing but you know i have a fashion design degree and i have worked in the industry a little bit and it's just it's just not all that it's cracked up to be girl god bless kent state but they did not prepare me for anything in the industry and it's just like i don't know the money isn't there the vibes are not there and what i've learned throughout these seasons of my life is that my time and my peace is not worth the money that it pays that's why i've just been kind of chilling because not chilling once again because i just want to figure out what i want to do and now I'm going in with this Maybelline Cheek Heat. This is in the Nude Burn. I really love this stuff. Um, so yeah, let me just wrap this, wrap this up real quick. I want to get more into social media management and content creation work. Obviously for my personal page, I create content all the time. And you know, it looks cute on the page and it looks fun, you know what I'm saying? But let me tell you what it's a lot of work uh, that's kind of the direction i've been going towards i do a lot of that for myself and for other people and so i really love it and it it makes me excited it gives me peace i don't feel obviously it's a lot of work but i enjoy it now i'm just going in with this elf blush stick blush it has a little shimmer to it so i like it and it's a little just challenging because on paper i don't have a lot of experience but i'm like yo i know what i'm doing okay and i'm willing to learn new things and that's just been the season that i've in i've been in as far as 
job and career wise and I don't want to stop design altogether because I want to have my own brand well I do have my own brand period but I want to have my own line you need time and money to do that in which the fashion industry doesn't provide either so for me to be able to fund my own line like working a nine to five in the fashion industry is not going to help me do that on top of my bills um oh i'm just going in with freck i used to go real heavy with this but girl we just go real light these days that's what i've been doing and i've had some good interviews and yeah i'm very hopeful and i know that god is going to provide the perfect job and the perfect opportunity and rejection is protection so I don't get all bent out of shape if I don't get a job that I interview for because I'm like, he's only protecting me. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so now I'm going in with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. It's important to set your face after your liquid product. So you set that in and then you set it again with your powder product. That's that. And now we're getting into the deeper stuff, I guess. Oh, sorry. I'm setting my face with this milk um blur and set since um i would say beginning of september the craziest things have been happening to me and again please i do not want a pity party i'm just being real with you guys because it may look like my life is so perfect on instagram but i'm not gonna be posting my bank account i'm not gonna be posting pictures of me crying on instagram I feel like I'm pretty real. But again, a lot of this is very heavy and too much to just be like putting on Instagram stories. So ever since the beginning of September, the craziest things have been happening to me. Okay, sorry, I had a phone call. So I did a few things. I just put some, um, I think, I don't think I told you I did this, but I just put some bronzer on my cheeks, this Too Faced um, chocolate bronzer. It's so old, but it's so good. So, and then I just put it in my crease as well, down the sides of my nose and um and then i just did some blush with this nars orgasm blush put that all over my face because we love it like that i'm just gonna bake a little bit because i did it the other day and i was like oh my nose looks snatched so i'm just using this because i don't have any beauty blenders right now but it actually is good because this is so precise i mean look at that like i was saying beginning of september a lot of New Yorkers face this. I'm blessed. Um, but my whole apartment got flooded. And for those who don't know, I'm in the basement of my apartment. We live on the first floor. So it's like a duplex. And my room's in the basement. So it was a, a mess. It was not the worst. Like so many people had it way worse. So I'm grateful. But you know, it doesn't change the fact that it was like super annoying. And it put me, it set me behind with a lot of things because my landlord is not the best either that was beginning of september then you know i'm like i had a bunch of stuff to do to catch up on but i had to clean up this mess and then the next week i'm not making this up i swear it honestly sounds like i'm making it up um and i'm gonna go in and do my brows and what i've been doing is using this elf brow pencil to just kind of fill in the gaps and then using this NYX pencil to be more precise in the front because this is this is a mess I'm sorry but this is a thicker pencil and so I can't get like the hair like strokes where this is thinner so I can get the hair like strokes um but anyway and then the next week I got into a car accident like what is going on and um by God's grace we're all okay it should have been a lot worse we got like t-boned going through a light and the person was flying and i was sitting on the back passenger side which is where the car hit so i got the most impact and when i tell you i felt that when i say i have never felt soreness like that in my body like i played sports growing up I work out, well, I haven't since all this. <laughs> That's another thing to add to the list. I haven't got to work out in so long, but you know what, we're coming back. It put me out for like a week and a half. I could not move. Like my chest was so sore because I tensed up so hard 
that and it just made me realize wow we use our chest to do everything you use your chest to sit up you use your chest muscles when you open a door you use your chest muscles when you turn on the sink you use your chest muscles when you sit on the toilet like whoa um i was so sore i could not move from my bed for like a week and when i did move i thought i was gonna like pass out or throw up because the pain was so bad and listen i'm tough by god's grace i'm tough so i have a high pain tolerance but there that mm -mm, that was crazy so that happened on september 7th i went to church the following sunday not the following sunday like a week and a half later i went to church and i come home and <laughs> this is so crazy every time i tell this i'm like people are gonna think i'm lying i come into my room and i see footprints on my bed and i'm like in the world but my my outside is like completely barricaded like no one can get in so i've never even thought or worried or anything of that nature so i go ask my roommate like did someone come work here today but why would setting again but why would they be on my bed and my roommates are like no no one was here today and i'm like okay this is crazy but i think someone broke into my room so we come downstairs and we're just like evaluating some more. I'm looking around and I'm like, yeah, there's a footprint like on my window. And then I'm like, well, what did they come in here for? And then I'm looking around and I'm like, oh my God, my laptop is gone. I'm looking, looking, Apple Watch gone. Looking, looking, all materialistic, of course. I'm just so grateful I wasn't home and no one was harmed. The only thing I really cared about was my laptop because I'm just like, damn i don't have a job and that's how i apply for jobs of course and i do a lot of work on my laptop dang i don't have money for that right now that was super crazy cops got involved nothing was ever found no one was ever caught which sucks but i understand oh i'm going in with this maybelline uh lash paradise mascara as well but it all has been working out my roommate is a gym and she's in school and she had like a school computer but she also has her personal computer so she's been letting me borrow her school computer which is a blessing because again i would not be able to do anything i'm just very grateful um so yeah enough of that that was my month of september so it was freaking crazy and chaotic and but let me just tell you god is good god is faithful i'm safe psalms 91 protection is real makeup is done uh let's go do this hair quick my phone be buzzing okay let's go pick out an outfit i either want to wear this sweater with these brown pleather pants and my converse so we're gonna try that on i think it's gonna be cute okay so this is cute i'll show you the full fit once i finish so yes and then i went to la for a ministry trip trip which was so amazing to start a workout there. Oh God, the Holy Spirit was moving because it was just so beautiful. I was there for like two weeks and God is so good even in that because I'm sure people are like, girl, you be complaining, you don't have money and you don't have a job, but yeah, you go to LA for two weeks. Like when I say God provide, God, God worked it out. Come back from LA and I'm like, getting back in the groove because obviously being gone that long you get a little um and then basically as soon as we got back we got some very shocking and upsetting news which i'm not gonna get into because i'm honestly just still upset about it and i'm still in a grieving and healing state and I know some people are probably like like what's going on but yeah i'm not gonna get into it too much other than we got some news about our church and i'm very upset and i'm still very hurt and i'm not gonna share any details but it's just been a very eye-opening time and it has not been easy and so i'm giving myself a lot of grace but i am taking time for myself and seeking jesus and only jesus 
for clarity and peace because I'm like, Lord, this is really too much. But like I read in Zachariah today, even gold and silver go through fire and go through heat in order to refine and perfect and by no means will I ever be perfect but I'm thankful for Jesus because he took it all on the cross so that I don't have to so yeah now we're in November and I am healing I am allowing God to just be God and me worrying and stressing about these things isn't going to change the outcome so I've just been reminding myself of that. And so I've just been really giving my all to him. I can't do nothing without Jesus, which I knew. But this has hit so different to where I'm like, oh, wow. I can't even hold a basic conversation without being like, Jesus, help. That has been my past few months. And that's why I've not really had time to edit I have so much footage from the trip in LA. I have so much backed up vlogs and backed up content. Instagram, not so much, but I just haven't got the chance to post because it's been so crazy because editing in itself is a full-time job. So I just, you know, I know I come on here a lot and I'm like, all right, welcome back. I'm going to be a better YouTuber. And before it's just been, I've just been very busy. Where now I'm like, no, it has hit the fan. That's why I've been in my eight. Good. It has hit the fan. Not my battery about to die. Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. Um, I'm going to use this Glossier. It's uh, Play. Everything has wiped off. I use this as just like a lip tint. It just gives a natural a little rosy tint. And then I just use this Laneige lip mask. Listen, you won't ever catch me without this on, on my lips. Ever. Um, and now for perfume, we're going to use Dossier, my favorite. I'm going to use the Woody Sandalwood scent today. It gives Le Labo Santal 33 vibes. Mm. I want to smell like a forest. Okay, so now we're going to put on some jewelry. My battery's dying. I feel like it's going to cut me off very soon. So I'm just going to turn this off and come back at the end. Okay, my camera is going to die in like two seconds. But here's the final fit. This sweater is from H&M. I got it years ago on sale for literally like $5 or $8 or something like that. And I put in these Target earrings, super lightweight. Necklace is from Etsy. And then I have these brown pleather pants on. They are from Pretty Little Thing, ignore the pile of clothes. And Converse, super chill but cozy fit. Outro time. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick because I already know it's been a long video. You guys stuck it out for real, for real. And I appreciate you guys watching and just listening and just being always supportive and loving. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to film an updated skincare routine next because I haven't really done an updated makeup routine or skincare routine. And I think that's just something good for me to get it back going. I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogs, um, maybe some lookbooks. Ooh be entering into fall winter baby so anyways thank you guys so much for watching um i appreciate everyone and their support always please share and subscribe and show someone love today check in on someone today pray for someone today be a nice person you know forgive whatever you need to do um but anyways thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video i love you and jesus loves you more